Hello and welcome to my channel. I am creating a series on tableau interview questions and this is the third video of the series. In this video I will be discussing the difference between groups, bins and sets and what are the set actions. So groups have to be created manually and these can be created on both discrete and the continuous fields. We are into our tableau application. Okay on any dimension or any measure we can create a group as you can see we have to manually select create and create group then we have to manually we can select two groups and we can group it into something a pack and then this into we can group into something and then we can do it in rest of the others and then we can again group by any of the measures that we want so that group by what into that also we can do the same similar thing in the measures although it is not advisable because measure can hold up many different values and create group so we have to manually select so we can select all the negative values to one group and then other to some positive values so that we can that much we can do it on two measures next is the bins so the bins have to be so we have to only define the bin size and it will create the equal partitions of the data we can create the bins only on the continuous fields which will create a discrete field in it so what do i mean with that so if I select on any other dimension, create, so the create bin option is not there, but if we go to um, sales maybe, create bin, so it is always on a continuous field, not on this street field, can create bins, so size of bin, it is suggesting it to me, or we can provide another values, let's say I want just three values, so it will divide so the minimum value is zero, maximum value is this much. So it will give me three size, three equal sizes buckets, and it will create uh, this repeat. Yes. So, uh, so the all for the intervals of three, it has created a bucketing size. So zero to three, all the buckets would be in there. Three to six would be in there. Six to nine would be there. Nine to twelve would be there. Twelve to fifteen would be there. So that's how the bucketing is being done. So all, all the multiples of 3 because of, we have given the multiple 3. Again we can select in any of the measures. So 0 to 3 comes in here. We have selected it on sales. Let's go for sales. Yes. Okay. And finally we have the sets. Sets are the grouping of a discrete value either through manually or through some conditions with respect to any fields or top bottom with respect to any of the fields. What do you mean by that is if you can see in the continuous fields we do not have any measure any option of selecting a set of, of creating a set but if you go to Let's suppose go to a market. We can create a particular set, or we can go to a country. Let's go to a country. We can create a set. Okay. We can select it manually, or we can give a customary list, or we can use all. We can give a condition by with respect to what condition. So let's select market, count of market, count of state of market, maximum of market of this value. Or we can select in some measure. Let's select some measure. Some sum of uh, some or average. Let's say make sum of average is less than equal to equal to less than equal to. And also we can give it in minimum, minimum maximum values, or we can provide it our own formula. Also we can give in the top. So top top ten of the count of categories or sum of profit so who's 
drop 10 descending ascending or descending order drop 10 which is giving me and on the basis of it will give me a country and what are the set actions okay so let's suppose we have our simple graph let's give it in the color so as you can see all my countries are on the basis of it's been segregated on the basis of the sum of profit so the color coding means the negative means the orange means the negative values and going positive to this value so as you can see the most profitable country is United States but what if we want to say it in particular region so like if we select this particular region only in this region I want to see what are the what is the maximum and what is the minimum values in this region it is just retaining those same colors and same retaining those same, same values in this set actions would come into picture so it is on this country so let us select country create a set of, of it let's give it a name country set selecting any of the value or none value it is just a placeholder let's create it let's give it a value one okay so the country set is created what I need to do is we need to bind it with our visualization select the action we need to change the set values for this particular sheet give it the set name assign the values add the values to the set and move the values from the set that option we need to choose so we need to assign those those only values if we select add values so it will retain the old values as well as it will add no new values remove the values so whenever we select it will remove those values i want to assign those values and then i want to keep the set values so when we clear the selection we want to keep the set values as it is or we want to select and odd value uh, add all the values so let's go with add all values and i have just created country set one select and then ok let us select something it will not change now because i have not binded it let's keep this in the filter now select few particular countries so our profit is the colors have been changed from for this particular region in Africa it's changed from minus 5000 to 21000 so as you can see this Uganda and Zimbabwe is having lesser profits so this is all about set actions if you have any other query please mention it in the comments section below in the next video I'll be talking about the different types of filter onto the tableau. If you have anything else on your mind, please mention it in the comment section. Happy learning and all the best for interviews. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so far. Thanks for your time.